Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons, and we're going to talk about, is Takesis Tiamat? And what we're really going to talk about is canon in Dungeons & Dragons. Um, so, boy, am I fascinated by this. So, I had not talked, this, this had been kind of, you know, spinning up, right? And there was this question of, hey, what's happening with D&D canon, right? So, the question, is Takesis in Dragonlance, Tiamat, is a cat, is a d and it's a, like... An unmitigated, pure, 100% canon question. It's a question about D&D canon, right? And the whole community is, t- is looking at it. And I saw this days ago. And I didn't talk about it just because, one, there was other things to talk about. And, two, um, I tr- I'm trying to lift my channel up and get the best content. And talk about the most important things for you guys, right? Um, and, uh, because I realized that one of the things I've been realizing lately, lately is selfish art, right? Like uh, there's a lot of things I would love to squawk about, right? But I want to make my content as relevant as possible, as unique as possible, as broad as possible. Okay. Um, I don't have to struggle to make unique content. Uh, every, pretty much every word out of my mouth is unique. Uh, I don't, you ain't going to find a lot of channels saying what I say about Dungeons and Dragons anywhere. Um, which is, you know, and, and that's on purpose, right? If I have an opinion that five other people have said, why am I going to waste your time with it, right? So, uh, but this is really fascinating. So here's where we are, right? The question has been arisen. Is Takesis the dragon in Dragonlance Tiamat? With, and that's the name that Tiamat was given when Tiamat came to Dragonlance. We know the answer now. The answer is yes. How do we know? Because in Dragonlance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen, um, it says it flat out. It says Takesis is is known as Tiamat on other worlds. Takesis is Tiamat. Done. Right? Now you're like, wait, 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 Scott. Does that count as canon? Yes, it does. So, right, so, so let's talk about D&D canon. What has to happen for something to be D&D canon? I'm going to give you my humble opinion on that question. Okay? So first of all, if you want something to be D&D canon, the first thing you do is you get it into a D&D canon hardback. That is the main channel, the main, the main delivery of canon for Dungeons and Dragons. Now, does that mean everything in a D&D uh, hardback is canon? No, but it's where canon starts, right? So here's what happens. You place it into a D&D, canon, D&D hardback, right? And it becomes canon the moment is accepted by the D&D community, right? Now that's, I understand that's a little bit like you're like, wait, when's that, when's that happen, right? It's a good question, right? But so here's the issue, right? So first of all, right now it's been printed in, in a D&D book. Like there are physical copies out right now that say Tiamat is Takesis, right? Now the D&D community can, can throw a flag, right? Now we've already, now we, I don't think we've ever seen this in D&D in the D&D community. I don't think right now the D&D, the actual D&D community at the 51% level rejects anything, rejects anything in D, that has been put in a D&D canon hardback, right? They, they're, they're certainly 3% of the community does, but at the 51% level, no, it really hasn't happened. It has happened in Hollywood films, right? The strongest example of this is the Highlander, the Highlander films, right? So Highlander is a much beloved intellectual property and that community is like Highlander two don't exist, and I mean like uh, this not it's not even a joke. Like th- no real Highlander fan acknowledges that Highlander two even exists, right? It's not canon, right? Like and so communities can absolutely take canon material that's been you know material that's been released as canon by the owners of the intellectual property and say no, we reject it. It's not canon, right? Like it's happened outside of D and D. It's never happened in D and D, in my humble opinion. So there is a possibility that the remnant of Grognards could get a uh, kind of a wave going and say, oh, no, Takesis is Takesis and Tiamat is Tiamat and they're different. How would the Grognards do that, though? Because they're literally dying, right? I I would love to tell you this is a joke, but there are channels where you could go and literally hear Grognards complaining about wizards with their dying breaths, like literally from like hospice beds, like with a camera on them on YouTube complaining about Watsy product with their last dying breaths, right? So what do you think is going to be accepted as canon by the D&D community? Is it going to be a remnant of Grognar, uh, a remnant of complaining OSR grog, but Grognards, and I, I'm sorry, Grognard and Complainer is redundant. The only reason I'm saying it is in case you're not familiar with like German understanding that like Grognard literally means 
old complainer, right? So who's going to win this debate? Oh, what's canon? Is it going to be a remnant of dying OSR grognards or a wave of young, excited, engaged critters and young, excited, engaged target purchasers of Dungeons and Dragons? Which one do you think is going to win the canon debate? I could, we, we all know who's going to win, right? It's going to be, it's going to be the live, robust people who know how to actually get on YouTube, people who know how to tweet are going to win, and Tiamat is now canon, in my humble opinion, as Tiamat is to Kesis. That's canon, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What about what Margaret Weiss? She's a, she's a creator. She said it's not. Yeah, well, guess what? Okay, I'm going to explain something to you. If you're old and you say, I'm old and I don't like this new thing, that's just air coming out your mouth. There's no noise, right? It's, it's, the, it's the boy crying wolf. It is... It is if you're old and you say you don't like a new thing, flap, seal your flapping maw. Nobody wants to hear it, right? I'm old. I don't like a new thing. Yeah, whatever. Like, it doesn't count, right? Like, it really it really doesn't count. Old person saying they don't like a new thing. It's just a wind no one hears, okay? Like, so, so, so just to be clear, I want this to be clear. If you're old and you're saying you don't like a new thing, it doesn't matter. No one wants to hear it, and it doesn't count, right? Because it's just, it is the boy who's crying wolf. Old person saying they don't like new thing is not a real, it doesn't register as sound to any American anymore. They're just like, oh, of course, you're a geezer grump grump. You don't like something new. Who cares? Next, do not want to hear, did not hear, does not register, does not count, okay? So Margaret Weiss, like, and what's even crazier, she's like, She's damaging herself, right? If she can just, if she could just seal her flapping maw, she would be able to, like, continue to have a decent relationship with the people who actually own the intellectual property that can make her continue to be relevant. But she is not able to control her geezer grump grump, right? Like, and they're like, ooh, and doesn't understand that in America, legit. Like, if you're an old person saying you don't like a new thing, no one hears it. No one even hears it. They're just like, oh, you said geezer grump grump. I don't care what the words were. It's just geezer grump grump. Old person doesn't like new thing. Maybe shut up next time. Right? Like, like, it's like it, legit. And I, I think it's really important for people to start understanding this. If you're an old person and you're complaining, it happens so often that you need to not say that. Right? You can hold it in your heart. No, that's where it should be. Nobody cares. Right? Like, old person doesn't like new thing. You really shouldn't have wasted anybody's time. Right, like, so, like, so that's where we are, right? Is it canon? Yes, Tiamat is Takesis, right? And it doesn't matter what one of the creators said, and even if both creators came out, they're both old and would be saying, I'm old and don't like a new thing, and the whole world would be like, well, that's every old person not liking every new thing. So, like, it doesn't count. The words, here's your words, and here's what came out. Just an empty, hollow wind, Right? So it's it. I think you know. And if you're listening to this channel, you might be you might be getting to this point, right? If you're old, nobody wants to hear you gripe about new things, right? It's like it doesn't count. The words literally won't even make a sound, right? Because in America, so many people hate so many new things. Nobody needs to ask the old person, right? Oh, hey, uh, here's this new uh, hoverboard. What do you think, old person? And like, you know what they're going to say. I hate hoverboards. It's like getting in front of me as I go to whatever. Like, And so Margaret Weiss doesn't understand that American old people can't complain because it does, like, it, young people don't even hear it as words on their ears. They're just like, oh, old person doesn't like new thing. Duh. Like, I can file that in the trash, like, because it's what every old person says about every new thing, right? Unless you're smart enough to realize, hey, if you don't like something and you're old, Keep it to yourself. Nobody wants to hear it. You don't need, like, and and you're like, well, why shouldn't they? Because the more you talk and say things that people already know, nobody wants to hear the words coming out of your mouth. It's important that you're able to control people to continue to hear you, right? But if they know what you're going to say before you say it, don't say it. Don't, like, this is critically important, like, for people to start to understand, right? So, old person doesn't like new thing. Don't bother putting the, pushing those words past your lips, they will never register on any American who matters, right? All that is my humble opinion. I'm eager to hear yours. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.